Hi there. Hey, I hope you're having a great day. My name's Rich Severson, and I want to show you this amplifier developed by Pat Quilter for Quilter Sound Labs. And this is the Quilter Aviator Cub. I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time, and there's plenty of videos out there on it. However, I want to show it from the jazz perspective. I'm a jazz player, and I have several different kinds of jazz guitars, and I'm going to demonstrate how each one sounds with this amp. I'm quite impressed with it, and I'll tell you something, Pat is a, a genius, and uh, when he develops something, it's really spectacular. Now this particular amp is affordable, which is nice too. It's 50 watts, which is plenty for a jazz player. So let's first take a look at the controls. Now look, here's what we've got. I've got the master volume, and I'm going to turn that all the way up, okay? And then the gain, I'll regulate my volume with the gain knob. There's no reason for me to turn the gain all the way up and the overall volume down, the speaker down, unless I want to achieve some kind of distortion. We don't want that. We want clean and fat. So if you take a look at the uh, controls, I've got everything set as flat. I've got a little bit of limiter on here. Now I've got it set at about 11 o'clock and the limiter, what that does is it evens out your tone, okay? So the low notes aren't, aren't louder than the high notes and vice versa. Now I'm using a L5. This is my Gibson L5 and I'm going to play a little tune on it. And it's got three inputs into this amp, all voiced differently. Tweed, blonde, and black, meaning black face, the blonde amp, how it's Fender, and the Fender Tweed. So these are all Fender sounds. I personally, uh, depending on the guitar, I go back and forth to these. Most of the time I use the Tweed or the blonde. Let's hear this uh, on this L5. I'm going to back the tone knob off just a hair excuse me, the volume knob, and I'm going to add a little tone back off the highs of hair. Okay, um, let's play a little something on it. Okay, let's play some octaves. I'm running it pretty hot, pretty loud, this little room. I'm sitting right next to it. Now, you'd be surprised, a 12-inch speaker, you would think that it's going to be big and boomy. This speaker is not like that. Okay, so um, let me play some more single notes. Okay, sounds pretty damn good, I think. You know, a lot of people say the tone is in the fingers, it's in the pick, it's in the guitar, it's in the amp, it's in the ear, it's all over the place. Okay, it takes all of it. Okay. You, you've got a sound in your head and you turn the knobs till you get it. All right, that's, I'm leaving everything flat and now I'm going to move over to the blonde setting. By the way, this song that I played is called uh, Killing Me Softly. <laughs> This is a little flatter 
worse sound, isn't it? Less emphasis on the low end. So it's a pretty even sound. Here's Opus de Funk. Yikes. Let's move now to the blackface sound. A little darker in the low end. By the way, the reverb, I, I am using a little reverb. I know jazz, some guys don't want that. I like it, okay? The reverb channel is fantastic. You can set the dwell on this. It's a nice, beautiful digital reverb. I believe it's digital, but it, it has a beautiful sound. So I'm very happy with the reverb. Let's turn it. You noticed I didn't change anything on the guitar. Matter of fact, I have a tendency I want to brighten it up a little, so I'm going to... sound. How about some octaves? Okay. Boy, that sounds really good. All right. I'm going to go back to the tweed setting. And I'm going to adjust the knobs. Okay. So look at here. First off, I'm going to roll some of the dwell and the reverb off. I'm going to roll out a little bit of the mids. Oops, the mids were boosted a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm going to roll out a, a little bit. I'm going to raise the treble on my guitar so I get that high end sizzle. I could beef up the low end. Pretty nice sound. Let's move now to the blonde <coughs> with this setting. You hear how much thinner it is? So, if you want to improve it, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to add a little, little bit of bass. I want to really darken it up. I could do something like this. Nice sound, huh? Okay, this guitar, okay, don't write to me, it's buzzing a little bit, okay? I need to readjust the neck, don't, don't get out, I'm sad. I only take this guitar out every once in a while. All right, so now, let's go back to the black face and let's hear what happens now. on the D string, you kind of almost, you have to thin it out just a tad, here's your, here's your mids, and your highs, almost
almost flat is pretty nice. So that, um, there it is. Now I'm going to just uh, go back, put everything flat, and let's hear what it's going to sound like on some other guitars. One of the problems we have in our studio here is I've got this, an overhead mic for my voice and a mic on the amp. We're going to kill this mic, and I'm going to play uh, some other guitars. This particular one is a 17 or 16 inch full body acoustic Eastman with a floating pickup okay a lot of guys have these let's hear how the amp works with this So on this guitar, to me, it sounded better over here on the, the tweed section with a little tweaking over here. That sounds pretty nice. Now let's try a guitar with a P90. All right, here is a 19... 48, 47, something like that. ES-150, um, 16 inch laminate top, P90. Let's hear what this sounds like.
Well, there it is. There is a little example with some humbuckers, a P90, and then a floating uh, bridge. As you can tell, each one of the guitars seemed to sound, uh, seemed to uh, gravitate towards a different input into here. I think some of the other inputs sound better, um, you know, depending on the guitar you're playing. So here is the amp. 21 pounds, you can't beat it. It's got a real special speaker in it. Uh, if you want one of these, please uh, give me a buzz and we'll get you one, okay? So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I will talk at you later. Bye for now. Rich here again. I just wanted to say thanks for checking out my videos. If you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for those notifications so you can see all the cool guitar videos we put out each week. If you want more lessons right now, I have hundreds of them at guitarcollegelibrary.com. Check out our low price monthly streaming memberships. And if you want to learn jazz, check out my course, Jazz Guitar Improv. I take beginner jazz players and get them playing awesome solos on the fly. You'll see the link for the JGI course in the description below. Hey, thanks again for watching my channel. We'll see you again real soon with a new video.